this is Laura Cox from Shield Healthcare. I am the ostomy lifestyle expert. Today I'm going to show you how I change my ostomy. Before I take my actual bag off, I like to do every step that I can so that I have the bag off for the least amount of time possible. So I've already pre-cut my wafer and you see that it's just a little bit bigger than one inch. I use the second part of the two-part system, which is the opaque bag with the filter. You can use stoma paste, stoma strips, or stoma rings. I prefer the stoma strip. And what I do is I just roll this to make it a little bit longer and a little bit thinner. So in between my hands and it'll look something like this. You also need some adhesive remover. I like to use the spray adhesive remover, but you can also use the adhesive remover wipes. So next I have my stoma powder and my niacin powder. The stoma powder just helps the skin heal and keep it clean. And the niacin powder, which you need prescribed, helps get rid of yeast infections. This is an optional supply, but I really, really enjoy this. It is a lubricating gel deodorant, which is really nice because it eliminates any odor coming from your ostomy bag. I also sometimes take my gauze and I wet it before I actually take the bag off, just so that I can clean it really quickly. The last thing I have, which comes with my actual bags, is just a brown bag to throw everything away in. Without further ado, let's start to change. First, I take my medical adhesive remover spray and I just spray it on the waterproof barrier. Now, usually I hold my skin and I start pulling off the wafer so that it just hurts as little as possible. going to clean your skin just to make sure there's no residual stool or paste around the area. You can take a wet piece of gauze or you can use a wet washcloth with warm water. So you just clean around the area and make sure to be careful around your stoma area because the stoma doesn't have any nerve endings so you cannot feel anything. So if you're being a little harsh you wouldn't know. Right. Next you just want to dry that area off. You can either fan it or you can use a dry piece of gauze or a dry washcloth. As you can see, I have a little bit of a yeast infection, so I take my niacin powder and I just put it right in the areas that are affected by the yeast. After that, you don't have to pat it off or rub it off. You just take your stoma powder and you put that right around the stoma and then just kind of everywhere that is underneath the wafer. After that, usually I just pat my stomach to make sure all of the powder falls off. I also take a new clean dry piece of gauze and I just wipe off all the residue and the powder will stick to where it needs to stick to because the areas that need the powder are generally a little bit weepy or wet or raw. After that you're going to take your pre-rolled stoma paste strip and you're going to just put it right around your stoma and I also like to take a piece of gauze and just press around just to make sure that I don't have any leaks. Sometimes when I press the skin around my stoma, some stool comes out. So this is just to make sure that I keep the area clean. All right, and last but not least, you are going to take this and you are just going to put it right Match it up right with the edges of your stoma as close as you can get it. The last step is to put your bag on. Okay. 
Now it is optional to put your lubricating gel deodorant in if you'd like. I like to just because it gets rid of any smell that may come from your ostomy bag when you empty it. So I usually put about four to six drops in at a time. One, two, three, four. Now all that's left to do is clean up and you are done.